Hi guys, you know the vibes. It's your girl Ebony T here. First name T and middle name Ebony. <laughs> now, to continue on watching this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Like, comment, and subscribe. All right, you guys, so I know I'm starting this video real, real crusty. You read the title right. But before we get into, you know, the tea or whatever, I'm sorry, guys, I miss vlogmas. Um, I miss like five days, like, which is crazy. Because I really was waiting to get my hair done, you know, i.e. this is why I made this video because the girl had me up, okay? So, okay, so let's get into the tea while I do my hair now. So, you guys, your girl wanted to get her hair done, you know, to look good. First of all, I guess sent the wrong hair. First, I wanted to have deep wave hair. As you guys know, me and my sister are going to be selling hair soon. And I wanted to try out a different texture other than, um, other than, you know, the straight, the usual straight hair or whatever. So, I asked for a deep wave. Alright, so boom. Not the, <laughs> I don't even talk like that. Alright, so, I get the hair. It's nice and everything, but it's the wrong texture. So, the vendor sent me straight hair and a and loose wave frontal instead of loose wave frontal and bundles too. I was thinking about sending it in the back, but I was like, you know what? Let me not do all of that because they wanted to uh, me to pay for shipping, but it was shipped them back and it was like $60 or something like that. So, you know, I was like, no, let me just keep this hair and just straighten it and do a side part. You know how we look for our people, our, you know, hairstylists on Instagram. But So, I live in Brooklyn now. I'm still trying out, you know, the girls in Brooklyn or whatever. I was going to lady that did my hair last time, but she just be having too many clients and I just didn't want that. I just wanted to go there and go straight into the chair. I booked this girl for Saturday. Saturday comes up or whatever. I'm like, oh, I'm about to get my hair done. My appointment was probably like at 12, okay? She texts me at 9 in the morning. Oh, I know that text. Hey, hun. Sorry. I might put a picture of the text if I still have it. Sis is like, sorry. I just took a COVID test. I don't feel well. Blah, 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 blah. No, even before this girl, I was supposed to go to another girl before her, actually. Let me do my hair while I'm talking. And she got into a car accident, so you know, I felt bad. I was, I felt bad for her, but deep down, I was like, <laughs> like she said she had minor, you know, injuries. So it wasn't nothing like too bad. Well, according to her, that's what she, so I was like, you know what? Whatever, like literally I saw that two days before my appointment. So I had to put another appointment with this other girl. This whole story is about her. And like I said, on that Saturday when I, my appointment was that day, uh, sis is going to be like, oh, I took a COVID test and basically I don't feel well or whatever. So she's like, she don't feel good or whatever. So I'm like, whatever. Like I was mad. I'm not going to even lie to you. Like I was like, girl, like why are you taking a COVID test and you got me as a client? Like, girl, take your COVID test before, after me, not during. Like, we got me as a client, you know? But I was upset. But, you know, I was like, hey, whoop de whoop. Like, my lace is, like, looking kind of crazy. Like, I'm trying to do this myself. We're going to get to that or, or whatever. Before my appointment, actually, I have to send in my hair before my appointment. And she said a day before. Now, at first, I found that a little iffy. Like, why am I sending my hair the day before my appointment? Like, I think you need like a week or five days to create a wig. But I'm like, maybe sis got it like that. I don't know. Which I went to the shop and I gave the lady my hair so she could make the wig on Friday. So that's when Saturday, I'm sorry, I'm all over the place with the story. That's when on Saturday, she canceled the appointment or whatever. So she already has my hair at this point. So, okay, whatever. So she said, oh, make your appointment for tomorrow. So Sunday, she said the next day. So I'm like, okay, Sunday, same time, same place, blah, blah, blah. She's like, yeah, okay. So I walk my dog, you know, Stella in the building. I walk Stella. And as I come back, I get a call from an unknown number. Now, usually you grab me tea and do answer numbers. I don't know, you feel me? Like, I'm like... Who is this? Why are they calling me? Like, I don't know who this is, but it was a New York number. So I'm like, maybe it's somebody I know. I just didn't say their number or whatever. Lo and behold, it was the girl that's supposed to be doing my hair. She tells me, oh, I'm almost finished doing the wig, but whiffs of the bundles is not long enough to create this wig. So I'm going to need another bundle. She tells me this the day of my appointment because she didn't look at hair. She didn't do anything, I guess, until the day of my appointment. So right then and there, I see like you're unprepared. You're not organized and none of this stuff, right? So we're 
what do you want me to do? So she like goes to the beauty supply store and gets some hair for me to put into my wig. And you know, me and me and to me are trying out benders right now. So why would I want to mix some beauty supply store hair with this good hair? This is like really, really good hair. It's not gonna give the same thing, and then I'm not gonna see how good this hair is and how long it can last if it sheds, all that stuff, if it's mixed in with already bad hair. So it don't make sense to me to mix that hair with this hair when I'm trying to figure out the quality and how it holds up and stuff. It's just gonna throw the whole thing off or whatever. So I was like, mm, no. I told her, let me call her back. At first I was like super mad. I'm like, yo, like it's always something like, what the fuck? I had to go all these obstacles to get my freaking hair done or whatever. So I text her, basically I was just over it. So I was like, I'm gonna come get my hair from you and I'll pay you for doing some of the wig and I'll just take the wig as it is until I order another bundle. I was thinking and then like called Tamia or whatever, basically asked her what you think I should do. And then Tamia was like, girl, like you better not pay for nothing. You do not want it. Basically, and that don't make no sense. Like she needs to figure it out because she's inconveniencing me. I shouldn't be, you know, trying to make her life easy when she's making my life a living hell right now. Like she's doing all of this thing. So I was like, you know what, you're right. So I text her, I was like, girl, um, I ain't say girl. Um, <laughs> cause you know, I'm trying to like, you know, still be nice or whatever, throughout all of this, you know? So I'm like, um, first of all, no, first to me it was like, I have a 16 inch bundle, but it wasn't the same exact hair or whatever. So I was like, let me think about putting that in. So I text her like, oh, I got a 16 inch. Like, could I put that in to fill the wig? But she said, you know, you have a long length, so with a 16 inch, it's not gonna look right, basically. It's gonna be like uneven because my front two is 18 and the rest of the hair is 22 inches or whatever. So I was like, mm, yeah, she's right about that. Like, it's gonna look weird or whatever. So I was like, you know what? Can you basically take that hair off that wig and can you sew it into my hair? So she said, okay, I'll do that for you. Come in Tuesday at one. Mind you, it was, you know, Sunday. Like I was saying, thank God it wasn't my birthday or anything that I had somewhere actually special to go to because I would have been highly upset because I ain't wanted my hair done since like a week, almost a week ago. And she canceled. So let's add up before I get further on to the, the goodness. Let's remember, they sent me the wrong hair. The girl I originally booked got into a minor car accident. Then this girl that I'm talking about, she, um, was she there? She did so much stuff, it's hard to go to one. First she canceled on me, now she's saying that I don't have enough hair for the wig. And mind you, I have 22 inches, and 22 inches is not the longest, so usually those bundles are thicker than, say, if I had like 30 inches. Those bundles are really small, so you gotta have like four or five bundles, depends on how thick you want your hair to be or whatever. Everybody's telling me like, that don't make no sense. Like, girl, like, is she an amateur? She don't know how to put on a wig. Basically, I think she is an amateur because this has never happened to me before. So right then and there, I I wanted to cancel I wanted to cancel but mind you guys she had my hair so it was like girl I just wanted her to, to put it in like she already had the hair but if she didn't have my hair I would have been canceled on her because now this is like too much of an inconvenience for me and I'm not gonna you know pay for a wig that I don't want I didn't want that I wanted a full wig done ready put on my head like I don't want a uh, half of a wig and buy a bundle, like I just spent bread for this hair, I'm not about to get another bundle, pay for shipping and all of that, to put on the wig when I wanted you to do that. Tuesday come, and you know, I'm like, I'm finally about to be a bad bitch, you feel me, I'm about to be a baddie now. I get there on time, at one o'clock was my appointment for Tuesday, and she's already late, okay? I get seated like around 1.15 or whatever. I'm like, oh my God, like. So she's doing my hair, I'm not in the talking mood. I'm just watching Atlanta Housewives, Portia family. And mind you, she's like going in and out of the bathroom. I don't know if she was sick or her stomach was hurting because she was going in and out of the bathroom a few times. I'm like, oh, oh my God, like I hope she's okay because sis was going to the bathroom a lot. And I'm like, girl, like, are you okay? Like, can you do my hair because I don't wanna be here all day but basically I was there all day when she was putting on the front room I didn't really look but it kind of I should have knew but I was like I don't think she like bleached the knots like I wonder if she did that because it don't look like she bleached them like it just looked like she just put makeup on it and then that was it but I was like, no, she had to bleach or not. She put stuff front on, on my head or whatever. And then the ball cap, she did a good job with that. Like, I literally look bald. So I'm like, okay, she's doing a good job. You know, I look like it's scout. Mind you, I'm like far from the mirror. I'm not like close, like how I am right now. Like, 
I'm a couple like feet away from the mirror. So you know how stuff look good from afar? So from afar, I'm like, oh, this is looking good. I even gave her a compliment. I was like, girl, this is looking like scalp. She did a little laugh. But the whole time she was doing my hair, I noticed that this side of my frontal kept lifting up. Like she couldn't get it down. I don't know what type of glue she was using. Cause usually like when I ever got a frontal or a closure, the hairstyles I go to is down. It's not coming up every five seconds. So I'm thinking I'm looking good because like I'm like I first of all I'm like I just want to get out of here. I've been in here all day. Like I got seated at 120. I finished my hair like around 5:30. I'm like, I'm finally out of here. Like, let me just go. Like, I don't even want to like say bye. Like, I just want to go. Whatever. So I get home. No, first, after I was finished, I noticed that this part was bumpy. Do y'all see how like it's like a lump? Like it's not flat, like how it's supposed to be. But but it's the way she sewed it. So it's like it's already too late to tell her because she already sold it. It's like, she would have to unsew. It's bumpy and lumpy, and you know, bumpy lumpy had a great full, bumpy lumpy, I don't even know his name. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? I didn't like that. That was the one thing I was like, baby, like it's not flat, it's looking wiggish. Like it looked worse than this yesterday, I'm telling y'all. So I get home, right? I'm looking in the mirror, like I'm really in the mirror this time when I get home. I'm looking at my lace. It's lifted right here, right here. It's, I could tell she did not bleach the knot. Like, cause you know when you don't bleach the knots, when it's all, you see, all you see is black dots on your goddamn lace. That's not cute, okay? It needs to be blend. It needs to be giving, where's lace? Like, but it wasn't giving it. So I'm like, oh my God, like this literally looks horrible. Like my sister and Kendra, like, Tia, you need to call her. You need to call her. I mean, not call her. You need to write her and tell her how bad of a job she was doing. Now you guys, like I'm really like, I'm a tourist or whatever. So I feel like, Tourists like me, we don't get mad as fast. Like we get mad when it's somebody else that we love that's mad. And we get mad when like it's been, you done did us wrong like for like the fifth time. Like, you know, even though it was so like it's built, it gotta be built up. Then that's when I get mad. That's when I start to act out. You know, it's like, girl, this is the fifth time. So my sister like, no, it's here. You need to call this girl. Like you need to call her. I mean, text her and tell her like, show her a video of your hair. Like it looks, like, what was she doing? Like, she was rushing the whole time. First of all, once I got home, I lift up the whole lace. I wish I would've had a video, I would've recorded that part. I literally lift up the whole entire lace and I had to reapply it because it was all squunched up right here. Lace was coming off. Like, it was just looking crazy. It's not, you know, the best job, but it's better, it's laid. And it's better than what she had did. Like, all I gotta do is, like, fix the lace right here. And I feel like I'm gonna be giving. And I did it myself. You feel me? So I wrote her, like, basically, I just walked into the house. And my lace is coming off. And by the lace, I can tell that she didn't bleach them or whatever. So she writes me back, like, I didn't bleach the lace. And the lace couldn't take bleach. Mind you, I'm like, that don't make no sense. If the lace can't take bleach, how would you know that? if you didn't try to bleach the lace. Like, I don't, I'm not understanding what you're trying to say. Like, she was like, oh, I can reapply it for you if you want to. Now, baby, once you do me wrong one time, I'm not going back. That's for anything in my life. You fuck up one time, that's, that's the end for me. That's the end, I let people go, like, <laughs> like a waterfall. Like, I don't, I don't know if that makes sense. But baby, she was like, oh, you could come back and I'll reapply the lace. And she was like, if you do sweat excessively, um, let me know and I'll reapply the lace for you. I'm like, what are you talking about? Talking about if I um sweat excessively. Like, what? Like, how did that come out of your mouth? Like, that was like so random. Oh, I didn't do this part. That was so random to me talking about if you need me to reapply the lace, if you sweat, like what does that have to do with anything that this is what's going on right now? Like my hair looks crazy. You did all of this stuff to me while I'm trying to get my hair done. Like you wasn't friendly, you wasn't apologetic when I seen you or anything. Like she was not apologetic. She didn't say sorry, girl, for me canceling, for me not doing the wig right. She didn't say none, none of that. And it's like, girl, like, this is how you treat your customers. Like, this is horrible customer service. And this is why I know offense. I don't like going to young people for my hair because young people lack a lot of common courtesy and um, they lack good customer service. <laughs> like, they feel like, girl, you, you came to me, girl, so you should be lucky that I'm doing your hair on type shit. Like, girl, I'm giving you my money. 
And you know what? She was cheap, and that's my fault for for going to her, knowing that she was a cheap. But I'm like, she did. It looked like she did good work, you know. But then she texts me back like, "Do you want me to reapply your lace? Yes or no?" Like she's rushing me. So she's unprofessional. She doesn't come to the salon with all, all of her um, products because I guess she only had one glue. She had one comb at the station, one flat iron, one hot comb, two brushes, one hair tie. She did not come prepared. Like, baby girl, you need to do better, girl. But I reapplied the lace myself. It's looking okay. Like, it's not the best. Like, I'm not saying it looked like scalp. But, you know, I'll be back when I finish, when I do the finished product because I want to show y'all how I finesse this hair, baby. Look at that. <laughs> you know? So guys, I'm pretty much done with the hair. Like, I think I did a pretty good job with the, the baby hairs and like the lace. Like, it's not the what's lace type of thing that's going on. When you get close, you can see the lace. Mind your business, like you know my business. Like please mind it, go over there, you know. But that's the end of the video, you guys. And the gist of this video is for the hairstylists that's out there, please treat your customers with respect. I know everybody has bad days, but if you're having a bad day, just let me know. Like then I'll be like, okay, that's why she acting like this. But you know, be apologetic, have some like dignity, like have some respect for yourself and others. Treat people how you want to be treated. Service people how you want to be serviced. And that's neither here nor there, and that's that on that, and that's on period, okay? But make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Like, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned for more videos from your girl, Ebony T. Bye.